Hey everybody, so I'm going to be doing a steampunk look and again with my Halloween tutorials I tend to try and gear it towards budget friendly options. All the accessories I got including this cool little skull choker was from the dollar store and the total cost for this look was about $10 so including the wig, the little hat which you'll see at the end and um, these collars along with some nails. So I pre-painted these fingernails which I'll put, at, put on at the end um, to kind of go with the steampunk look. So that's kind of the overview of what uh, is going down in this tutorial. Some additional elements I wanted to add to this look were like, you know, metal cogs and that sort of thing. You can of course go to Michael's and get like actual little decorative pieces if you want. Um, I decided to go the super DIY version and just cut out some cool little shapes um, of tin foil and a few little little tiny details I'm going to be putting on the metal chin and this is all done with tin foil so uh, for those of you that like DIY or want to go the cheapest route possible other than that um, I guess there there's nothing to do but get started I'm just gonna start with my eyebrows and I'm gonna use black eyeshadow um, to basically create like a really bold dramatic eyebrow just sharpen up the edges a bit So starting off, I'm going to take a little bit of white eyeshadow and a blender brush and I'm just going to kind of highlight the eyebrow area just a little bit just to kind of make it stand out a little bit more. Next thing I'm going to do is going to take this really dark gray from uh, Ben Nye, it's called Graphite and I'm just going to start adding a crease and with that color I'm just going to bring it up right to the edge of the eyebrow just like that so next I'm going to go in with just a flat black I'm going to take a kind of burnt maroon color and I'm just going to emphasize the outer edge with it now it's not going to be very bright because you've got the black, but it's just kind of to add a new dimension. Just gonna do a little bit more blending. Ooh, so I have one contact in because um, I can't really see that well uh, <laughs> with with both of them in, but I do have the other one in at the end. I'll, I'll put in the other one so that you can get the overall effect. But you could do you could do just one lens if that's creepy enough for you. Kind of got these they're thick black lashes, but they've got like a little bit of a silver band on the top. So I thought that might be a good choice since 
And we're going to be using the aluminum and such later. All right, so now I'm going to start with the foundation. And I actually didn't have too much of any fallout, so that's pretty good. I'm just going to take some white face makeup. And I'm going to apply a pretty thin layer, so I'm just going to work what I have in. So now I'm just going to set the white with a little bit of powder. So now that I've kind of set the powder, I'm going to go in with a, a powder product and kind of contour just a bit. And I'm going to use um, this Ben Nye taupe color. It's called Smoky Taupe. And I've, I've used it for my eyebrows lots of times. It's a great color to have. All right, and now I'm going to take a little bit of a silver eyeshadow and just hit a highlight like that so I'm a little bit shiny. And just blend it out a bit. So I look a little shiny. So with spirit gum, you have to make it tacky. So um, what I'm gonna do is I have so I have this um, little chin piece that I wanted to apply. So the first thing I'm doing is just applying a little bit of spirit gum on the back of the tin foil, making sure I get like all the edges. And I'm just gonna go on my skin here and uh, get it tacky. I'm just going to kind of work it on the skin. So my first piece on, it's on there pretty good. Okay, so now what I wanted to do is kind of um, tarnish these a little bit. So to tarnish up my metal, um, you can use a few different products. I'm just gonna use like a black pencil. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take um, kind of like a bruise wheel. You can use a purple or red-ish eyeliner if that's all you have. I'm gonna go for a classic black and red lip. The first, uh, this red is actually called vampire red and the black is called black. <laughs> I'm really digging this whole like duotone uh, lip. So, let's start with the red. And I'm not using any lip liner, you can, but this stuff is quite pigmented and very sticky. So after I've done the red, I'm going to go in with the black, very close to the inside. Alright, so this is my final look. Um, so the makeup's all done, I'm just going to throw on my wig 
and my little hat which you'll see is pretty cute steampunk hat and um, you know if you don't have a wig really this is the kind of look that you could totally just slick back your hair maybe spray it black or white or silver or gold whatever you're looking for um, but I'm gonna do that put on my wig put on my nails and give you the final look all right so this is the final steampunk look I hope you guys really enjoyed it. Um, like I said at the beginning of the tutorial, the hat and the wig and the choker, uh, I, all, I got all of them from the dollar store and they were less than 10 bucks. And uh, I just did the nails myself. And uh, yeah, it kind of brings everything together. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Happy Halloween. Until next time, stay beautiful. Want more beauty in your life or makeup business? Head on over to beautynewbie.com for your beauty fix.